So it's supposed to be clear tonight, and I'd like you to join me in imaging NGC 7129 and M45. NGC 7129 is a small reflection nebula. Uh, there is a uh, open cluster that's nearby. It's in the uh, Cepheus uh, region. And uh, it looks interesting, but it is fairly tiny in my setup. Uh, I'm also going to be uh, later on in the night switching over to M45 and taking some data on that. Now M45 doesn't clear the trees for me until around 2 a.m. right now. So I have to uh, image, what I'll do is I'll image NGC 7129 up until 2 a.m. Then I'll have it switch over to M45 and take some data until dawn. If all goes well, I should be able to add this to the data that I've already collected on these objects. And uh, we can have a look at uh, what the results are. Now tonight I'm going to be using the Esprit 100 triplet refractor. That's an f5.5, so 550 millimeter focal length. Um, I have the uh, QHY 268C cooled CMOS camera. That's the new uh, 26 megapixel camera from QHY. It has uh, 3.76 micron uh, pixel sizes, which uh, together with the 26 megapixels and the small uh, pixel sizes, um, it actually is a very high resolution camera. So it's been a really great camera to use. I've been really impressed with it. Uh, in addition to that equipment, I'll be using an Optolong L-Pro filter. So this is a light pollution filter that will uh, reduce some of the impacts of the light pollution that I deal with. It doesn't remove it entirely, but it minimizes it and it boosts the contrast with the deep sky object that I'm imaging. Um, and it this filter is not as aggressive as other light pollution filters, so it doesn't mess with your colors. Uh, it actually maintains a very natural looking color uh, when you're shooting broadband with it. So that's really important and it's a great feature um, of this filter. So I really like that. So right now it's pretty clear. Uh, there's a you know few clouds here and there, but nothing to worry about. Uh, the evening and uh, overnight is uh, forecasted to be clear. I use uh, a few different uh, forecasting tools and uh, they rarely agree with each other, but um, they seem to all indicate that it's that we're going to have uh, uh, somewhat of a good clear night. So hopefully that is the case and we'll see how things go. All right, so we're just going to wait for dark and uh, then we'll get the telescope and everything fired up and ready to go and we'll start imaging. M45 is an open cluster associated with nebulosity and uh, you can see it with the naked eye. You can't see the nebulosity but you can see the uh, uh, seven of the brightest stars that make up this open cluster. It's a reflection nebula and the stars, the bright light from the stars is actually reflecting off of the dust in this region of space which is creating the, the glow, the nebulosity uh, appearance. Uh, they believe that these stars are actually moving through, traveling through the, this dust um, that exists um, and that the two are not necessarily associated with each other, just coincidence. They happen to be in the same place at the same time, giving us this uh, great, great view. All right, so things are going good. I have Nina open here and uh, it's been imaging for a couple hours so far. We've got uh, NGC 7129 right here and there's an open cluster that is nearby it which makes this uh, a very interesting uh, framing of the, uh, the, uh, the objects. Um, I wasn't really considering uh, framing. Uh, it uh, to include the open cluster because um, I actually wasn't aware that the open cluster was was there wasn't really paying attention to that and uh, 
On second thought, looking at it, it looks like a very interesting uh, pairing. So this is uh, showing us where NGC 7129 is uh, located in uh, Cepheus or Cepheus, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Um, it is right there. So not that far away from the Iris Nebula or the uh, Elephant Trunk uh, Nebula. And uh, it's, it's, people have imaged it obviously and, and do image it, but I think it's uh, often overlooked because of these, uh, these two uh, more grand nebulas that uh, exist not far away from it. They uh, draw the attention away from uh, NGC 7129, so. And this is the M45 data, which uh, turned out really great. Um, I'm really happy with this. The uh, detail in the uh, nebulosity is outstanding. The QHY uh, 268C camera did a uh, fantastic job um, in capturing the details of the, uh, the nebulosity. Um, this is just, just incredible. I really am quite impressed with it. So thanks very much for joining me last night. Um, I hope you uh, liked this video. If you did and you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. This channel is about astrophotography and image processing. Um, click and subscribe. Uh, hit the bell notification to be notified of uh, future videos. And uh, thanks very much, and we'll see you in the next video. Clear skies, everyone.